can't stand the sight of is a colloquial expression that reflects a strong aversion or intense dislike towards something, someone, or a specific situation. It conveys a powerful emotional response, often resulting in discomfort, frustration, anger, or even physical reactions like nausea or anxiety. This phrase is a testament to the potent impact certain stimuli can have on an individual's emotional well-being and their overall mental state. The expression is commonly used to describe a range of scenarios and objects that provoke these negative feelings. For instance, someone might say, I can't stand the sight of spiders, expressing their arachnophobia or fear of spiders. In this case, the mere presence of a spider can trigger feelings of fear and disgust. Similarly, people might say they can't stand the sight of certain foods, like Brussels sprouts or anchovies, because the taste, smell, or appearance repulses them. Furthermore, this expression is not limited to physical objects, but can also apply to people and situations. For instance, someone might say, I can't stand the sight of my ex-partner, indicating the strong negative emotions they associate with that person due to a past relationship. Similarly, someone might express, I can't stand the sight of injustice, emphasizing their intense aversion to witnessing unfair or unethical behavior. The intensity of this aversion can vary greatly from person to person and can be influenced by individual experiences, upbringing, culture, and personal preferences. What one person can stand the sight of may be completely tolerable or even enjoyable to someone else. It is a deeply subjective sentiment that reflects the uniqueness of each person's emotional landscape. People may develop this aversion over time due to negative experiences or associations. For example, if someone had a traumatic experience involving a particular animal, they might develop an intense fear or aversion to that animal for the rest of their life. Similarly, societal or cultural influences can shape one's aversions. Society's values, norms, and expectations can contribute to what an individual can stand the side of. It's worth noting that while can stand the side of usually implies a strong negative reaction, it is not always permanent. With time therapy or exposure therapy, some individuals can work on overcoming their aversions. They may gradually desensitize themselves to the trigger, whether it's a phobia, a person, or a situation. In conclusion, can stand the side of is a powerful expression that encapsulates the visceral and intense dislike or aversion one can feel towards something or someone. It highlights the diverse and subjective nature of human emotions and how personal experiences, cultural influences, and individual preferences shape our emotional responses. This phrase serves as a reminder of the complex interplay between our minds and the world around us, where certain sights can evoke profound and often involuntary emotional reactions.